Come and see the ancient stone fort, declared as the eighth wonder of the world. Incredible technicalities, stone methods, wall art with beautiful surroundings show you the limitless talent of the native people of Sri Lanka. This world historical monument is located in Madale district, Sri Lanka. According to Sri Lankan history, King Kashyapa created this lion stone to hide from attacks by his brother. After the death of the king, Sijariya was named as a Buddhist monastery until the 14th century. According to archaeological research, identifying Sijariya as a turning point in the history of Ravana. Before the 50th century Sijariya was called Alakamandawa, Akasa Malagawa. The ancient Indian epic story Ramayana describes Rawana's brother, Kaurawashrawana, as the owner of Alakandawa, Sijariya. According to the Ravanawatha Palm Leaf Book, Mayadanawa is the architecture of the Sijariya, he bid the Sijariya according to instruction given by Vesamuni, father of Ravana. Finally, palace was dedicated for Ravana's brother King Kaura, Vaishrawana. Afterwards the Ravana has banished the Kaura and got the Sijariya under his control. The history of Sijariya is a long story. The rock came into being as a result of a rivalry between two brothers. The great rock fortress, Sijariya was built by the King Kashyapa. King Kashyapa made this great place to protect himself from his brother King Mogalana. The Sijariya rock is entwined with a tragic event. The heir to the throne had been King Mogalana. But King Kashyapa had taken power by force. King Kashyapa was afraid that his brother would come back again to take back his right to the throne. Therefore, to protect himself, he built this rock fortress. He did not want any invasion to happen by his brother. The technology that has been used in creating the fort is excellent. However, Magdalena was able to defeat Kishapa, and after that, the rock fortress was destroyed. Earlier it used to be a Buddhist monastery, and after the palace was destroyed, it became a Buddhist monastery once again. Sijariya was discovered later in 1831 by Europeans. A major of the British Army, Jonathan Forbes, discovered Sijariya on his way from Polonarowa. Many historians and archaeologists started excavating this rock fortress, and it is through the excavations that all the glory of the rock was discovered. One who goes to the top of the rock would see that it is a citadel, with gardens and parks. Sijariya is a massive rock which was built for protection, and the technology that has been used is advanced. Its layout and the planning technology used in Sijariya is extraordinary. One of the other main attractions of Sijariya is the Sijariya frescoes and Sijariya paintings. The murals can be seen once you climb the circular staircase, the Sijariya frescoes are the maidens with beautiful curves carrying flowers. They are dressed in heavy garments, and it is believed that they are carrying flowers to the king for blessings. The Sijariya arts are of beautiful women. It is believed that the drawings are the reflections of the beautiful women who lived in King Kashyapa's palace. The women were drawn to resemble Apsaras. The facial expressions depicted on the woman's face, the use of color in the paintings attract tourists. The most typical thing in these drawings is that each of these women wears delicate three-circled tattoos around their necks. It indicates that the women belong to King Kashyapa. They resembled supernatural and was a depiction of the grandeur of Kasyapa. The drawings also resemble the Gupta style of painting in the Ajanta Caves in India. There is a staircase in Sijariya where you would see two enormous lion paws carved out of the rock. It will lead up to a gigantic lion statue. It represents the pride and the strength of King Kashyapa. The term Sijariya derives from Sinhagiri which means Lion Rock. H.C.P. Bell, Harry Charles Purvis Bell, excavated the two enormous lion paws in 1898. Many people think that the stone carving is not a lion's paw, but a lizard's paw. However there was a sculpted lion's head above the legs and paws flanking the entrance, but the head collapsed years ago. 
Originally this wall was so reflective that the king could see himself as he walked alongside it. Made of brick masonry and covered in highly polished white plaster, the wall is now partially covered with verses scribbled by visitors, some of them dating from as early as the 8th century. Most, however, date from the 9th and 10th century. People of all walks of life, from poets to provincial governors to housewives, wrote on the wall. This is the only evidence of poetry found in the Anuradhapura period. On the top of the rock, there is evidence of water gardens and fountains. The technology of the water management system used on the top of the rock, there is evidence of water gardens and fountains. The technology of the water management system used on top of the rock is marvelous. The fountain garden is evidence of Sigeria's hydraulics. There is also a miniature water garden. All these are evidence of the excellent water management systems. Engineering technology of Sigeria, the layout is organized in a way that on either side of the roads to the western entrance there are rectangular pools. In front of the pools, there are limestone fountains. The technology used is much advanced, and it is hard to believe how there could have been such technology during the ancient times. The Sigeria garden scaping structures are evidence of ancient botanical gardens. The landscape is eye-catching, and it is a mix of natural floral species. The planning is well laid out. It is a wonder to look at the garden scaping which is unique to the Sigeria rock.